to meet the youngest descendant in an illustrious family of Abbey Isles. It's beer o'clock and today we have a bottle of St Bernardus Christmas Ale coming in at 10% ABV. Now, this is the the most recent um, addition to the St Bernardus range. As you all know, they're very famous for um, their beers. And St Bernardus um, actually brewed West Vlettering um, under license uh, many moons ago. And then a law come in that uh, breweries, Trappist breweries, when had to brew the beer at the actual Abbey. They weren't allowed to stick it out to the licence. But <coughs> St Bernardus, they say that they sort of nicked um, the recipe, and especially for the 12. And to be honest, when you actually drink the 12 and you actually do drink a, a West Veteran 12, nah, I, can't, I can't see. Uh, much about it. So it'd be interesting, it's the first time I've ever had this, it'd be interesting this beer here to see what it comes out like. Is it gonna be sort of very sort of West West Vletteran? I don't know. So let's crack it open. Just show you that again a nice bottle cap. Um we had one yesterday. So there's nothing better this time of year than having a Belgian Christmas ale. And a lot of the Belgium Christmas ales, they're very, very strong, robust beers. You know, ideal to sort of sip away with your, your Christmas dinner or after your Christmas dinner with your dessert. There we go. So, it's a real dark brown, ruby red in colour, with a nice three finger off white, sort of caramel like foam head. Now one thing I've noticed about this head, I don't know if you see this as I bring it round, the size of the carbonation, you know, usually a beer, a lot of the beers have a what I call tight head, lots of little tiny bubbles, but this one here, it's like big um, bubble, bubbles. This looks more, a bit like sort of Swiss Swiss cheese, um, which is different, and it's, it's not to do with the pour or anything like that. It's just the way that obviously the carbonation in this beer. So let's let's get the aromas. Oh, it's Christmassy. Raisins, malt, dried fruit, Christmas cake. It just smells of Christmas cake. Christmas cake, Christmas pudding, all things Christmassy like that. Yeah, yeah, it's the only way I can describe it. It's, um, it's a good thing about these Christmas beers. They're quite sort of uh, simple to describe, being you know, they, they smell of Christmas. Winter spices, yeah, fantastic. Let's dive in and give it a try. Cheers. It's quite a dry beer. It's quite a bit of carbonation there too. Now starting now. That second swig really made a difference. It's now sort of round my palate. It's 
dry, it's sweet, it's dried fruit and spices. It's very light and watery as well. You know, you sort of look at that head and the lacing, and you sort of think, well, it might be sort of like a thickish beer, you know, especially being at 10%. But no, <coughs> it's very light and very watery. It's quite complex. It's an earthiness to it. And this is the thing, when you get complex beer like this, you can't pick it all out straight away. You know, this is, this is a beer that's designed to sort of sit there and sip and sort of enjoy. Um, it's a shame I don't smoke cigars anymore, to be honest, because this is, again, this has been a fantastic beer to sit here and have a nice Cuban cigar and just enjoy life. Um, yeah, it's, it's a beautiful, beautiful beer. It's got a real fizz to it as well. Really has got some carbonation in this beer. It doesn't feel strong and boozy, but so it's like a, a rich Christmas pudding. There's a slight sweetness there, but it's really got this earthy, earthy, dry finish to it. And what I've noticed with, with these beers that have got this earthy, dry, all this dry finish, it's so you're taking another sip, it's quite clever really, because no one likes to have a dry mouth. So what you're gonna do if you've got a dry mouth, you have another sip. It's still fizzing around in my mouth, believe it or not. That's how carbonated it is. And I was sort of picking out the spices. Now it's sort of got into my mouth, into my taste palate, um, my taste buds and that. It's, you know, you're looking at this nutmeg, a bit of aniseed, some licorice there, um, clove, coriander, obviously. Um, It's a maltiness there. There's a lot going on in this beer. You know, I suppose to sort of sum it up in the best way, it's it's malty, it's fruity with dried fruit, it's got them spices in with your nutmeg, your cloves, uh, you know, a little bit of aniseed, licorice, um, I can't really pick out what I was expecting to pick out. Perhaps some chocolatey notes. I'm not really picking out the chocolatey notes in this. Um, well, my taste buds aren't. You know, you might you might be, beg to differ. Like you might taste some chocolate in there, but I'm not getting any chocolate in this one. Um, it's a very very good crafted beer as you would expect from a Belgian beer, to be honest. Um, how how many Belgian beers are, are crap? I don't think there is any. They're, they're all good. Um, that's why I always say the Belgians produce the best beer in the world. And this is an example, again, of why it's the best beer in the world. Um, 
definitely buy it again. I'll definitely have it again. It'll be on my Christmas list for next Christmas. No problem whatsoever. Um, as a matter of fact, I've got some to have Christmas Day. Believe it or not, we've got the big bottles. Um, but no, fantastic beer. Look, get hold of a bottle. Try it, see what you think. Leave a comment below. Um, you can get this in sort of beers of Europe. Um, where else? I've got... I, Berry St Edmunds in the um, beautiful beers, Berry St Edmunds. Um, obviously, Belgium in a box. So, look, soon get hold of a bottle, try it, see what you think. Like I say, leave a comment below, give us a big thumbs up if you like the review, hit that little bell, get notified every time I bring out a new one. And of course, subscribe to the channel, because without you subscribers, the channel's nothing. And like I always say, beer is the answer, but I cannot remember the question. Thank you for watching, good night. TT says, never play with matches, fireworks, and always drink responsibly. <laughs>